It's nine o'clock. I want you to put your jammies on or brush your teeth. I love spending time with my boys. That's the best part of my day. I would like to toast to Joe for finally coming out with us. It has, it has been a while. It has been a while. I also love spending time with Joe. I just wish she wanted to spend more time with us together as a family. I love Slade, but the more time that I spend with my friends, the more I start to realize how much I miss them. And I miss going out. Hey! <laughs> I would love to see Joe step up and, and become that housewife that, that I've kind of dreamed of. I got plaque. I think Slade would love it if I was home more. And I am home, but when it comes to night, I definitely like to be out with my friends. And then when I do go out, you know, it's just innocent. I tell everybody I'm engaged. Being a father is truly the most important job I've ever had. And anyone who's a father knows it is a job. Right back. I love you. I miss you. I know it's really late and it's like 2 in the morning, but I love you. Oh, it's 3 in the morning? <laughs> All of a sudden, I've been thrown into this amazing life with two kids. You don't get to go to clubs as much. You don't get to party as much. It's hard with schedules and babysitters and responsibilities, and especially when you've got expectations from your fiance about what a fiance should be, and because I'm living here, and he's pretty much keeping me. I just really want to make this work. Okay, now, here's the deal. You guys are gonna help me cook, because I'm starving, dude. We have plans to have a family day at the house with the boys and Joe's brother, Michael. And uh, unfortunately, she got a better offer, and now she's off on some boat. Did you wash your hands? You wash your hands? I certainly could afford a full-time nanny, but I think it's really, really important that um, I be a hands-on parent. We need another pan. Is there another pan? No. Wait a minute, hold on a second, freeze. You are not helping cook our food, and then you just shoved your hands down your pants and scratched your butt. Guess what that means? <laughs> that means you get to wash your hands again. Dude, hey, hey, this is a very important rule. When you're cooking food, no scratching the butt. You keep your hands off your butt. I did this itching. Well, I understand it was itching. Hello? Hey. Hi, baby. Hey. How you doing? Um, we just got off the boat and I have two problems. What's that? Well, A, I'm sober, so that's not a problem. I'm <laughs> in my car right now, but the problem is, is that I drove everybody here. So what, why is that a problem? Well, because I can't just leave all the girls here and all the girls want to party. Well, yeah, you can. <laughs> Nope, because I brought them well, baby, I mean, here's the deal, okay? I mean, you can't stay out all night because they want to party. So they can either pick a time when we can come back and get them and they're going to be done, or they need to be responsible for finding their own way home. Is Grayson with Donna? No, I'm trying to get Grayson ready for bed. Okay, never mind. My family is really, really important to me, and I'm not quite sure why Joe doesn't understand that. Honey? What? I got a job today. Why? Because I'm kind of bored. What's going to change tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? What's going to happen when you go to work and decide that you really don't want to work and you just want to hang out at the house? How are you and I going to come together as a couple and create a plan for our future? You're not telling me what the plan is. You don't even let me sit down and analyze my plan. My goal was to work in Newport Beach. My goal was to get into the real estate industry in an area that I You are I so butt-ass backwards. You're walking into this backwards. 
You're not taking the time to plan it out, decide what you want, and then going after a goal. According to whose definition, Slate Smiley? So all of a sudden, because I decide to do something my way, it's wrong, and that's my freaking point, Slate. It's not wrong. No, but that's my point. If it's not done your way, it's not right. I absolutely love my job. I work at Countrywide in Fashion Island, premier lending division. I have finally gotten my dream job. Please, my wife's mom, this is Megan. I'm sorry he's unavailable. May I help you with something? She's keeping take a score. message? Oh, she is. <laughs> I have uh, recently hired a personal assistant because now due to the fact that Joe has decided to go to work, I uh, really need someone to help pick up the slack. Megan is a fantastic hire because she can help me with the house, my dry cleaning, or whatever else it is I need. Okay, I'll let him know. I hope that Joe will be fine with me being his assistant. There shouldn't be any issues, hopefully. Oh, shoot. We're rich. We don't have to be good. Oh, that was your bounce? That was my bounce. You're so full of crap. You need to watch him. Every time you lose a ball, that's a stroke. Extra. <laughs> You know what? If anyone's gonna stroke my new assistant, it's me. Just back the hell off. No stroking allowed. Are you sure you're up for this? I'm sure if I was not in the golf course today, it would have been quite more men talk, but I'm sure it was held together a little bit more properly because I was there. Megan, will you grab my balls, please? Oh. Let's talk about the new assistant he just hired. An assistant. He hired a personal assistant. Really cute. She used to be a cheerleader, tight little body. And I told him, I'm going to feel really uncomfortable. Wait a minute, will you be at work anyways? Yeah, but it's the fact that like she answers his phone now. Okay. Like, I called today, okay, and she's like, wrong. hello. We got to do it more often, though. Man. I don't have time to do it more often. Come on, yeah, you do. I you can get out here once a week, at least. No. Why not? You do now, you have an assistant. Your wife's cooking dinner? Yep. Your wife's cooking dinner? dinner? Exactly. I got no one cooking dinner. Tiger! When I wasn't working, Slade bought me two Karen Terriers to keep me company. But now that I'm working, I really don't have time to be taking care of them. And I think Slade still expects me to clean up after them. You get to pick up the poop. I'm sorry, in English? You get to pick up the poop. It's your turn. <laughs> You want me to pick it up and actually feel the grain in my hand? Why not? I think I'm gonna have to slaughter them and have them for dinner or something, because at this point, they're driving me absolutely bonkers. Oh, God! Why are you guys such poop stains? <laughs> That's gross. Baby. Hey, good job, honey. Come on, I bet there's more. Honey. Oh, look! A plethora of landmines. Oh, baby, come on. I don't think Joe realizes how much work it is to take care of two things. I've been through two kids, the dirty diapers, being up all night. I mean, I know what it takes, and she's having trouble looking after two little dogs. What are you guys, like, stealth bombers? Slade and I made a bet on our date. If I win, I get a new Louis Vuitton bag. If I win, I get you in a French made costume and you have to clean the house. Honey, I don't clean. I think that I wanted to win a lot more than she did. I really wanted to see her in that French made costume. And I just wanted it more than she wanted that purse. I love you so much. French made costume? Cleaning? How about French made costume? Calling the cleaners, that's very sexy. No, 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 no. I'm talking feather duster and in one hand and like, you know, pledge in the other. Dusting. What's pledge? Even though I lost the bet, it was actually kind of okay. Cause I feel like things have been so serious lately. I feel like this kind of helped to liven things up a little bit. Come on, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Let me see, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! This is like a dream come true for me. All I need is a remote control and a beer.